Now this morning I'd like to uh, talk to you a little bit about transferring your bandsaw box pattern onto your block of wood. Now if you take a pattern such as this one, which I use quite often, and just put it on, you can copy it right directly onto the wood. A lot of people will take their pattern and line it up and then actually glue the pattern to the wood and cut the pattern itself. But I found that if you cut like these two lines here, where they're close together, that sometimes the pattern will tear, or if you, if you glue it really hard, then it'll stick to the top of the wood. So then you've got to sand or clean the top of the wood after you take the pattern off, after you get it cut out. So the way I do it, which I think is a little, at least better for me, is I take old-fashioned carbon paper. Uh, the carbon size hasn't been well used, but it still makes a good copy. Now, some of you don't even know what carbon paper is, probably, but back in the old days, before we had copiers and computers, we, we made copies on typewriters, and they used this paper between the sheets of paper to make copies. But it works great today for items like this. What I do is lay the carbon paper with the carbon side down on the block, put the pattern on top, line it up so that it's on the block. Then I take an old ballpoint pen or anything with a point on it. This one doesn't work anymore, but it works great for this purpose. And then I just trace over the line of the pattern all the way around. Now I'm going a little faster than I normally would just for the sake of time and so the quality won't be quite as good but it'll give you an idea anyway. Just follow that line all the way around. And then we get this line up here. Okay, now I've got my pattern right on the wood itself. So I just cut the pattern out and I don't have to worry about any cleanup or about scraping the old paper pattern off the top. It's, it's ready to go. It's just a really easy way to do it, I think. So, Anyway, carbon paper is still available. It's even though it's not used much, I still you can still get it. You can, uh, I have bought it at some of the large uh, supply stores like Staples, but I had to buy huge quantities, and you know I just don't use that much. So I found it recently on Amazon where you could buy like a dozen sheets at a time. I don't remember exactly how many were in the package, but it wasn't very many, and it's reasonably inexpensive. But if you go to my blog article, it'll, there's a link right to Amazon and to the paper, so you can order it if you, if you feel like you'd like to use it. Anyway, I think it's a lot easier way to go, and it's clean and doesn't require any cleanup afterwards. So give it some thought. If you think it'll help you, make it a little easier for you, well, give it a try. I think you'll like it.